Greetings and salutations, and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the robo Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm hearing one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? up to the boss. I know where they are. That's a big help. Thanks.
Need some wheels. And Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Looks out of Hot Wheels, just like you are. Appreciate it. paying up the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the boot ship. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed that some mysterious colored fella disrupted his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking. <sighs> makes his last stand at an old fun bark. From what I hear, Richie wasn't gonna be winning no awards for all the fuck with Sonny Blue. I heard it's some colored fella. The fuck's... It sounds like... <laughs>
Oh, oh, you know what that butch is gonna do to me? Should have never fucked with Irish Point. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Limbaugh. Limbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Yep, heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. Now we get to make some of our own, eh? <laughs> What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Ah, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's I know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. 
So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You, you head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, alas? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Coming down the left lane. I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Save a bullet or two. The nigger and the mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. 
We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. I'm in point for done, and I need a new set of wheels. All that lot. Just getting her warmed up. I need resupply and point for done. I'll head your way now. One car is promised. That's a big help. Everything you Let see is what you got. I'll be. This is done. You know how to find me. Whiskey, whiskey everywhere. Not They'll not leave thee, thy lone one, to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep. With him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invites rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Blinking it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict pain on someone else. A little man what's busted up in the eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? No. It done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. The real fucking got me. It's the sense. 
and change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut in the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You'll excuse me. Oh, I was going to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Moonshot? This is the place to look. <laughs>